morning. This is Occupational Therapy with Kim and Jen, and I am Kim. And I am Jen. And we bring you 75 years of experience between the two of us in occupational therapy. And today we're going to talk about one of our favorite subjects, which is proprioceptive toys for the young child. We're, we're talking about that because proprioception is the sense that provides input into the muscles, joints, and ligaments. And like us, if we go running after work, we go to the gym, it's very calming. It will acquire our attention for a long time. It does that for the child. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is anything weighted, anything with resistance. I went to the dollar store, got a bunch of socks, got a lot of beans, filled up these bags. I've got about 10 of them. I get a bucket and the child throws the beans into a bag. Next one would be a weighted ball that's full of sand. It comes in a pound, two pounds, three pounds, 10 pounds or more. With the little ones, I usually get ones that are two or three pounds. If they're in a bad mood, if they are crying, if you hand them a weighted sand ball, they will start, stop crying and get the biggest smile on their faces because it feels different than a regular ball and they don't expect it. And then the resistance, the calming piece comes in when they've got to kick it or they have to catch it or they throw it or they have to put it into a basketball hoop. That is a squiggle wiggle vibrating pen. Coloring is very proprioceptive because you are moving along a surface with resistance. Vibration gives extra input into the hand. The children love it. They'll stay with activity for a longer period of time and that vibration is proprioceptive input that is very calming. Squigs, you've probably seen these before. You can stack them up, they stick together. I love to take them, I put them on windows, I put them on doors, I put them slightly out of reach so the child has to get up on their toes and get more sensory input into their legs. They've gotta pull them off really hard. I have a bucket down on the floor next to them. They pull them off the door, they squat down, they put them in the bucket, lots of sensory proprioceptive input going on there. This is the pounded toy, and I really like this a lot because you use your shoulder muscles a lot. You're hanging on to the hammer and pounding pretty hard to get those wooden balls through. And then you have the added bonus of it hitting the xylophone and making a noise, and you can use the hammer on the xylophone as well. And this is a pounded toy, another one where the pegs are a little bit smaller and you really have to give it some oomph to get them through there. And they're, since they're smaller, you need to have more precision. So you have to work pretty hard to get those through the hole. This is think, Aaron's thinking putty, but you could also get therapy putty. And I have some putty that I got from Walmart. And this has a cool little light in it. If I have a child that's really having a bad time, maybe having a meltdown, I stick that light in there. And now they've got to find it and they've got to squish it and they've got to pull it apart. And I'm telling you, it's very relaxing. It is relaxing me right now. <laughs> it's very important. The teethers, these are vibrating teethers. So I like these because as Kim was saying with the appropriate, the vibration with the squiggle pen, this is vibration for the jaws. And I really like it so when they bite, they get vibration. And these have the little rings on there so you can use the pacifier clips to clip them onto their shirt as opposed to something around their neck at this age that's just not the safest. And these are little pull toys. So uh, these give a lot of resistance to pull them apart and they're great to chew on. They have different um, sizes so that you can get, you can hang on to them a little bit differently. As you can see that little C in there is a little bit different than the butterfly's wings. And this is a shopping cart. So we use this a lot with weighted things. Instead of those play toys in there, we put real cans of food or bags of rice or potatoes. Sometimes we go outside and go for walks and collect rocks just to get that weight in the shoulders with the pushing. The stomp rocket is a favorite of everyone where you jump or stomp on the little thing so that the rocket goes flying. So they get all that feedback in their uh, legs with the stomping and then the visual tracking as well. And these are pop tubes and the kids love the different colors. They've got to pull them apart. They have to push them together. They make a really cool sound. As you can see, see I am still squishing on therapy buddy. <laughs> um, we hope that you have uh, enjoyed what you've heard today. If you have any questions about where we got these items from, please put a comment down below and please like and subscribe. And Jen That's is going to do a little montage of the items that we just showed you.
There you go. Thank you. See you again soon.